Realistic wood texture is easily achieved with the right materials and a few simple steps. To achieve this look, I'll be using a two-part epoxy clay mixed one-to-one -one ratio with a powdered thickener. You will need a stiff bristle brush, a silicone bark stamp, a small PVC pipe, and some plastic wrap. I like to mix my clay on a plastic board, that way it doesn't stick. This clay is used with a powdered thickener. Use some paint stir sticks to get it out of the bucket and into the thickener, as it is very sticky. This is mixed equal parts A to B. Once you get a rough estimate of equal parts of both A and B, mix them together. If the clay gets too sticky, add more thickener. Work the clays together like you would bread dough. Continue to mix until it's one uniform color, adding more thickener as needed. At this point, I like to dunk my clay into some water so that it doesn't stick to the board. I'll be demonstrating on a scrap piece of foam. This material gets very sticky. It's helpful to wrap a small PVC pipe with some plastic wrap and dunk it into water. This will help you to move the clay around and have it not stick to the pipe. With wet hands, grab a chunk of clay and apply it to your surface. This material, again, is very sticky. Have a bucket of water nearby and dunk your hands regularly as needed. Use the pipe and roll it like a rolling pin, like you would dough. Cover the entire surface. Sometimes it's helpful to use a piece of plastic wrap to help you smooth out the clay. Use your stiff bristle brush to put lines into the clay. This will help achieve a wood grain effect. Use sculpting tools in your fingers to add deeper grooves and texture into your finish. Go back and forth with your brush until you get a texture and look that you like. Use a chip brush and water to smooth out any harsh lines. Next, we'll use the silicone bark stamp to add additional texture, placing it randomly. Next, you'll want to determine where the edge of your bark will be. Add more clay just at the edge of your bark pattern. This will add depth and create the thickness of your bark, making it more realistic. Apply the stamp on your newly created edge until you get the texture and look you like. Continue to add bark pattern as desired.
Once finished, let dry overnight. To paint your wood, use exterior house paint in a flat finish, thin down with water 25%. Cover the whole surface of your main tree area with a medium beige. Use a deeper brown for the bark area. Make sure to get in all the deep crevices. I like to blend the edge of my bark color into my tree color for a softer, more airbrushed look. After your base is dry, we'll be making a wash with black or dark gray exterior house paint thinned down with water. Cover the entire surface. Work in small areas so that you don't get lap lines. If the coat is too thick, add more water. Use a rag to wipe back the wash. If the wash is still too heavy, use a wet rag to remove the excess. Next, we'll be using a light taupe to highlight. Use a dry brush technique. Oops, too strong. Wipe it off with a wet rag. Lightly brush over the surface. Here, it looks like it's really bright, but as it dries, the contrast will mellow out. I like to give my trees a hint of life by adding a touch of moss. I spritz down the surface with some water so that when I add my darker green moss tone, it will absorb into the water and soften. Use a light lime green to highlight the moss. All materials and colors used will be listed in the video description below. I love this epoxy clay because it's very durable and it's rated for exterior use. It's used in professional theme parks and zoo enclosures. It can be used to coat over any surface and it's also fire rated. Well, I hope you liked my sneak peek into how a professional hard coats foam to look like realistic wood.